okay uh, today we are going to uh, learn about uh, the importance of file and folder management now think you have a cupboard and uh, even your table you should uh, arrange it in a proper manner otherwise it's very difficult to find your uh, things uh, quickly right so it's the same here now we are using computer in uh, if we uh, didn't arrange the files and folders which we are using there it's very difficult to find so if you have created files and without giving a proper name you have to find all the you have to open all the files and see what's inside and if you didn't properly name the folders or if you just put one folder and put all the things inside that one folder then again it's very difficult to uh, find the things so uh, we'll see uh, what we can do uh, with the file and folder management here now uh, i think uh, you can remember uh, earlier i have created the file name cpv and then i have at the end i zipped it i think you can remember what we have done now i just open the zip file you can see uh, the zipped uh, folder is inside there so here uh, okay now we'll see uh, now when we consider about opening these files and the folders it comes as windows now i just open uh, an application uh, software it comes as a window now you can see on right top hand corner there are three buttons the close button and the minimize button and then the other one is uh, the restore button right restore down you can restore it it will be uh, come to a particular uh, place in your desktop right but sometimes even though in the restore portion you see it as a maximized window like the whole um, window will be uh, on the screen but you can see the button it's uh, it gives like one single um, one single um, rectangle uh, which shows uh, one single square actually it shows uh, uh, it's a in it's in restore position where you can go to a corner and you will get the two headed arrow and you can just uh, resize the window so when you are doing work sometimes you need to resize the windows and you can keep several windows in the same at the same time and you can work uh, easily right now here you should know when you uh, use the minimize button it will go to a button a minimize button to the taskbar then uh, again when you click on that button you can re uh, reopen or we can say you can uh, take the window to the desktop now here you can see uh, on top uh, there's a, a title bar here in the application uh, software you can see it's always practical microsoft powerpoint right so using that title bar you can move the window here and there right then you can see inside there there's the ribbons and uh, uh, the, uh, you can arrange these things even right so the main thing is uh, you should know about these three buttons in a uh, window right the minimize uh, restore or maximize and the close button now here we are inside that cpv uh, this um, zip folder you can see once i click on it uh, on top there they have given uh, the tools of for that uh, zip folder now you can see on right uh, sorry left corner you can see the things there the root directory and the um, collapse thing and uh, you can open it again and you can see uh, now uh, the quick access bar is where you can add the whatever you want to quickly access you can add to that place then the desktop means it will expand and show the things inside it you can easily move uh, throughout that place right you can go to the, this PC and you can see the hardware and the common places there then uh, you can even see the control panel there uh, later we are going to discuss about that now here if we consider about the uh, cpv the folder you can see it uh, down there the zip folder is there right inside that the original cpv folder is there right so you can um, click on that um, you can see there's a small um, 
arrow uh, right uh, side headed arrow is there so which means inside that folder there are more folders right so you can see inside cp there's ict uh, folder is there so when you click on ict there are another five folders inside that you can view that right when you are uh, win these uh, within these uh, files uh, actually the folders you can uh, go to folders from the left corner uh, on the right side there's a window where uh, wherever you go the things inside that folder will come to this window right so and there's a little bit description about the things inside now you can see um, the uh, here uh, I'm extracting it uh, yes I just uh, did some uh, copying there now but the thing is now uh, when you uh, go to this place you can see the things where you can do uh, various um, things to this uh, CPV folder even right the zip folder but think now we are going to do a uh, some um, inside we are just going and see what the, what the uh, things we can see here you can see inside the intro there are some files right so with the files now i am in the descriptive uh, version like you can see on uh, right uh, bottom corner you can see two buttons from there you can select uh, how i can see the things inside the folders right so here you can see I'm in the detail view. So you will see the details. These uh, details even you can arrange. Okay, which details I should see. You can right click on it and you can add some more things. Now here you can see the type is there. The compress size is there. Uh, then password. Uh, I think uh, I told you that we can give even passwords. Now when you are zipping a folder you can give a password then only the person who has the password can view it back right so here you can see uh, the descriptions are there uh, the size uh, and the ratio is there uh, you can arrange actually these things uh, according to your uh, preferences then ratio means how much and the now the, the second size means the original size so when it compares with the compressed size what is the ratio and the date modified even date created those things even you can put it there now i am uh, just showing you that if i press the icon button uh, then and the items uh, it uh, comes as icons like small images but if you want to see the description you can Click, click on description now all the things inside comes like that because they are inside zip folder they are inside the zip folder now uh, you can see uh, I was in I'm in a PowerPoint folder you can see it's the type is Microsoft Office PowerPoint uh, so I can find uh, the which kind of uh, file is there and now we'll go to the um, intro again you can see how it shows with the zip compress things and all but now i am going to the um, folder where i got those uh, images now you can see i'm in zoom back there you can't see a uh, right headed arrow which means there's no folders right so you can see the difference see it's name date type size and tags now there's no compression why it's not a compressed file it's a normal folder it's not a compressed one so you can see the type jpegs and png things are like that but there's no compressed compressed size or there's no particular password there's no ratio so there's nothing like that in zip folder okay uh now I think what you uh, have learned is now when we are doing things we can arrange folders and I can keep it in a proper place right now I'll show you uh, the things which I am doing now right at this moment I'm doing some teaching so I have put uh, 
a folder called teaching from 2020 like that no so you can see ICT lessons I am doing see I have arranged it in a manner like where I can find easily the things which I have done the circulars regarding ICT the chicta things uh, from uh, this day onwards and the Google classroom things are there and uh, some uh, different different units uh, notes are there then all level uh, and uh, then uh, you can see some generic topics are there so I have put all level there for particular that uh, um, subject like particular for that exam what are the special things I have put in all level syllables and uh, TG books and the uh, uh, various things are there now if I just go to unit 1 I can show you uh, the summary notes which I have sent to you is it's there and the recordings uh, which I'm used uh, for these uh, lessons are there and the uh, presentations and the PDF files which I have sent is there so all these stuff is there uh, and easily I can find it that's the main thing I have arranged it in a manner where I can easily find it so this is what you have to do when you are doing with computing you have to keep a proper management now uh, this is actually we have done it in a store standalone computer but when you go uh, online then uh, there are something as an example the Google Drive is there where you can keep your data there and one drive is there where you can keep the data there so when you are keeping your data there it's better you keep this um, file and folder management there even right and the main um, benefit is having uh, um, online uh, uh, directory or online uh, spaces that wherever you go you don't have to bring the things like you don't have to uh, take uh, the laptop or even the portable hard disk or even the pen drives you can just go to that uh, place and you can just log into your computer and then uh, you can just get the details from the net right i hope uh, you have uh, learned uh, about the importance of ict uh, the for file and folder management uh, hope uh, you are doing with the computer